Hello everyone, Cordell here with 901 Rapid Response. On today's video, I'm going to be taking you around a 2018 Ford Interceptor SUV outfitted with a police package, a Whelan light package specifically, and adjust box it in the rear. So as we start here, we're looking at the side of the vehicle and you're positioned a little bit forward of the vehicle. So what you're going to see for side warning is you're going to see we have Whelan T-ions on the side of our push bar. They're going to be in a red blue configuration and they're mounted on a wing on the side of our Go Rhino push bar, which is what that's doing is it's giving you that nice 45 degree facing warning right on the front of your car for intersections. Here in the headlight housing, we have wig wags enabled on the vehicle. We have the Whelan Lin SV2 under mirror mount light. So that's going to give you a nice 180 degree swath of warning on the side of the car at the midpoint here. On top of the vehicle, you're going to see we have the Whelan Liberty 2 light bar. Continuing back, we're going to notice the graphics package done here by our team that is in-house market graphics. They've done a really nice job on this and they actually have wrapped the doors white and laid vinyl over top. So when you go with doors on your vehicle and you would like to change the color, you have two options, either vinyl or paint. The vinyl option is actually going to be cheaper than the paint option. And a lot of our customers have found they prefer vinyl over the paint. For instance, if a door gets scratched or nicked, you can actually replace the vinyl instead of having to do a entire paint correction, um, which vinyl is oftentimes much cheaper. The lettering on the side, we do lay over top of the white wrap door. So the white wrap door goes on in one layer and then our graphics go on top in one layer. Um, the reason for that again is for that future serviceability. Um, depending what happens, they can actually re replace letters on top of the vinyl, um, depending what may happen. Here in the rear window, you're going to notice we have Whelan T-ions again, and what we have here is a single color red and a single color blue in the side rear window. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle, you're going to notice that we get that nice warning from our Liberty 2 bar up on the roof. We have the Whelan T-ions beside our rear license plate here on a nice bracket, and we have enabled the rear taillight flashers on the vehicle. All right, guys, now we're going to open up the rear of the vehicle here and check out the just box it organizer we have. As this opens, you're going to notice we have our above head warning here, the Whelan T-ions again in that single color red, single color blue. We have hatch lights here for the officers as well. So you have this on a Mercury switch that is going to give you the option to have a red illumination, a white illumination, or an off illumination. So what this does is if you leave your lighting on and you close your hatch, your warning lights here will stop blinking, these lights will turn off, and your lights facing the sky will resume warning pattern. Uh, when my hatch gets to about this position, it's going to switch and turn the lights that face skyward off, turn these lights on, and allow these lights to come on in whatever position they would be on. Here we have our just box organizer. This is a very basic organizer we've built for the department. It's going to give them a space to store bulk items as well as organize some few smaller items without them sliding around the rear compartment area of the vehicle. All right, guys, you did not get to see the front end of the vehicle here. So what we have is the Go Rhino push bar with the wheel and ions integrated into the top bar. You've seen these a lot recently on our builds because it gives the front of the vehicle a much cleaner look as well as getting these warning lights up a little bit higher. So if you're behind a sedan or something like that, it's going to go through their rear window, reflect off their mirrors to give a little bit better warning uh, on this front push bar here. Down below, we have mounted the siren speaker on the vehicle. So this is nice because it's getting your siren speaker completely out from behind your front fascia. So all of the sound is projected directly out. Um, so you get that excellent audible warning. Good. All right, everyone. Here we are on the interior of the 2019 Ford Interceptor Utility. What you're going to notice first as we come down through the center section here is we have a monitor up here on the dash. This monitor actually ties into the in-car video system, all managed and controlled through this separate monitor. As we come down the dash, what you're going to notice is we have the Havis swing out dash mount. And in the swing out dash mount, we have their universal um, it's a UT-101. In this case, the updated part is the UT-1001. This cradle allows you to hold a tablet or similar device. And what this does is holds your tablet nice and securely. When you want to access your radio controls and other items, you can simply pivot this out of the way. 
and then lock it back in place, safe and secure. Coupled with that, we have the Havis adjustable keyboard here. So this is on a motion device here. I'll kind of swivel around so you can see. Um, there's three linkages coupled with a tilt swivel device. So you can bring this keyboard closer to you. You can adjust it up and down. Um, you can actually pop the keyboard off of here if you would like and set the keyboard on your lap and it does quick dock back in place. So if I were to eject the keyboard here, I could take this keyboard, set it on my lap, and then I can lock it back in place quite simply. As we continue down the console here, we feature a Havis vehicle specific console for the Ford Interceptor utility. This console specifically actually houses the Brother Pocket Jet Series printer. Um, the Brother Pocket Jet Series is very popular for us recently um, with a lot of departments moving over um, to the more digital systems in their vehicles able to print out um, citations and other items. So what we have here is the Brother Pocket Jet, like, like I had said, it's a thermal printer, integrates directly into the console. The roll of thermal paper, the roll of thermal paper is here at the back and you can simply close this cover. You're going to see the indicator lights through the clear looking glass. You're going to have access to your power and paper feed buttons directly through the cover here. And your papers will simply print out the front of the console here. What this eliminates is having your printer armrest here that is going to take up space in the center of the console. It's going to eliminate a printer armrest printing into the side of the officer, which can allow the paper to get kind of crinkled up. It's also going to eliminate having items like a headrest printer or a glove box mounted printer, um, which require other modifications to the vehicle, where this integrates everything into the center stack of the vehicle. Coming down the console, we feature the Whelan Sencom Sapphire control head. This control head, what we've used here, is the rotary knob variant of the control head. So what you have on top is programmable buttons that we've configured to a certain layout here, as you can see for this department and agency. We have a turn knob for our siren. We have a manual and horn button. And then we have our traffic advisor controls down here, along with a nice amber display to dictate what your traffic advisor is doing. We've installed the customer's radio here. We have 12 volt power outlets as well. Um, if they might need to charge small electronics like a phone or um, what you may have. We have the Eltron scanner here, which is going to tie in with the computer system, along with the printer system, um, for their different software and how they can actually input information into certain software via barcodes. We've equipped the console with an armrest. Of course, you have to have an armrest. You have to have cup holders. Um, those are two essentials, of course. And on the back here, what you're going to notice is we have the ProGuard partition with a recessed panel. In that recessed panel, we have the Santa Cruz weapons mount. So what this weapons mount is known for is having a lot of adjustability at the base. So the buttstock holder can actually um, be adjusted for different size um, buttstocks on rifles. It can adjust vertically as well, as well as the head can adjust vertically. Not only with adjusting vertically, you also get some nice pivot out of this head. So if you have two rifles that are similar, but may have different optics on them, you're able to simply pivot the head to secure the weapon into the mount without having to physically adjust the upward and downward travel of the, of the mount itself. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for the vehicle showcase on this 2019 Ford Interceptor SUV. As always, leave your comments below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. 911RapidResponse.com is where you can find us on the web. Thanks for following along, guys.